up here. Clippers at home, I'm just using some scissors because they're pretty, as I tested here, they, they work just fine. So what you want to do is cut any place that the plastic frame is connected to these parts. And once you've done that, we'll move on to the next step. Let me show you a little demonstration here. Some of you may use side cutters, it's fine. It doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. It comes off pretty easily. My old video, I just twisted them off, but this is a little bit more smooth and concise. Every piece here has a partner, as it were. The very clear pieces are the front pieces and the very uh, frosted pieces are the back pieces. So every single piece here will have an aligning partner and they'll kind of come together like the old um, cassette tape, like audio cassette tape boxes where they had a hinge or more specific like uh, CD jewel cases and then they just close together. So that's what you'll do with all these. You'll find their partners uh, and put them together. Everything is, everything is labeled. So if you have a front piece with a title on it, the back piece will also have the same word on it. And that's how you know how they go together. have these five boxes that have individual pieces for the rest of your game shell within it. So you kind of just have to go out, or they're not labeled, so you just have to sort through everything and uh, pull them out piece by piece. I mean, it just says like part one, part two, RCII, FCRD, PCBA, I'm guessing maybe the PCB is in there. Anyway, the point is we'll go through this, pull all of it out and continue on. We're going to take, we have one, two, three, four, five piles, screen, main board, speaker, battery assembly, keypad assembly. We have five major <coughs> plastic pieces here, so everything associates with everything. Uh, what I am gonna do is show you how the screen goes in real quick, as that's ultimately important. Battery cover, uh -huh. So all of these parts, when they go in, only have one way they go in. If you're forcing something, you're doing it wrong. Um, <clears throat> so first, let's peel the screen away. Or the screen protector, I should say. You see here that there's just an empty slot that this would go into. Now you'll also find that if you do it like this, it doesn't associate, it just, it, it doesn't line up, right? So that means you have to put it the other way. And then you bend it backwards, so this makes it lower instead of being higher the way that it was. So you'll face it with the ribbon bent backward. And then you just gently set it in there and close this behind it. If you want to, right now would be the perfect time to make certain that there's no dust or anything on the inside of the plastic. Sure, you can easily open it back up, but it's just tremendously easier to do it while you already have it open. And it just clicks. And now that's assembled. So what we're gonna do is put every piece in every plastic uh, container as it were and then we'll move on to the next step the next step being that we're going to assemble the speaker because it's a little weird so we'll come back to the speaker part but the other ones we'll go ahead and put together right now
a point of the project. Technically, I mean, everything's pretty much downhill from here, but uh, we'll still walk you through this one. This one's kind of strange. <coughs> uh, the board is easy because it just sets in there the same way that the other stuff does. Uh, you just have to make certain, firstly, that you orient it to where it's going to fit in there nice and snug, and then you'll have the port right through the opening on the plastic. <coughs> but now you need the actual speakers because this board just isn't sufficient on its own. So we have the um, left and right speakers accordingly as it'll be in there like this. But where are the actual speakers? I see no speakers. Well, they're here, and it's super strange. you got to open it first. They're kind of like pill containers a little bit. maybe get in there. They obviously package it so that these things stay A1. Perfect. So what you have now is a little white sticker and what you'll do is use the tab and peel it away. Great, fantastic. in there. It doesn't really matter the orientation because it has connectors on both sides. So just make certain that you set it in there. Bring it a wee bit closer. Yep. This has two separate pieces and then snap the plastic shells together. It's kind of your call, but really that's all the effort I had to put into it. Um, right? Yes. <laughs> and so now we'll do the other one. set it in the opening and there's a rectangle because it just sets right in there. There's no wrong way of doing this. Yes. And then you'll find the satisfying click here. All snugged up and tight and now we're ready to move on to the next step. attach the screen to the main board as we get closer to full assembly here. We're also going to pop in the micro SD card now. This is going to be easiest to do it at this time. You'll find that there was a micro SD card in with all the <sighs> tremendous amount of cords there. <laughs> Don't let those seem daunting. Some of them are optional. Alrighty, so the 16 gigabyte came with mine. I honestly can't remember if the first generation came with it, but if you're watching this for the first generation video and you just didn't come with it, you'll just have to uh, get one and then there's definitely instructions online if you're using a newer or bigger card Let's say that you did come with yours did come with a 16 gig, but you want to do something more those instructions are online for Formatting as it were Okay, so now to get this ribbon in for the screen to attach to the main board We just have to pop the main board back open right quick this way right? And the only reason we have to do it for this one is just because there's an actual lock on it. Really just goes straight in. Lock back. I make this simpler for me. I had it upside down, no biggie. I was like, why isn't that not going? And it's just, you just have to have the arrow, of course, naturally pointed in the same um, orientation that you see all the top half of the ports. That's where the air should be pointing from. And then the little lock just latches over the top of it. So naturally it wasn't gonna go in there. I don't know why I couldn't remember that from before. <laughs> no big deal, everything worked out. Um, I had to take it out to really have it closer to my face to see that, but of course, now that you know that, you shouldn't have to worry too much about the orientation and then we just put it all back together here so I had to take mine apart the 
gentle experience. And now we can continue on to the next step. God, that's beautiful. the battery, the keypad, and the speaker to the main board just like we did with, well not just like we did with the screen because we'll be using these white cords instead. The longest one will be for the speaker as that'll be the furthest away from the main board. This one's, and we have two short ones, but the, the tips of them are all different. So that's kind of gonna, kind of how you be, oh my God, that's kind of how you're going to um, figure out what associates with what. This one's a four pin. Oh, and so is this. Well, that'd have been luck if I just guessed that right off the bat. But so was that. And I think that since that's like right underneath the, uh, So we can use the shorter one here, and it, let's see here, aha, keyboard, battery, speaker, they're all labeled for you, so even though they call it keypad on their website, and in their <laughs> press release stuff, they call it keyboard on here, don't let it confuse you, all right, there we go, we're good, we're good, perfect. Thank you guys for your patience. And so now the battery will do next because it rests underneath the keyboard. And if you had longer thumbnails than I do, that probably would be easier for you. So now we kind of have the shape of a, a handheld on our hands. Sorry for the pun. Okay, so this is the last piece here. You have the four pin. You just take this. So now we're going to set all these pieces in the bottom half of the shell. The shell, like a lot of other things in this, was covered in plastic, so we're going to take the plastic off. Maybe. Perfect. It's like flawless without any fingerprints on here. And if you're gentle and careful, you should just be able to lift and set. They all have little grooves here, so there's not really much chance that you're going to goof anything up. Yes, you could have probably just lifted the bottom half and set them in there and then the top half. It's however you want to do it. There's no right or wrong way. I mean, I'm sure there's a really wrong way, but I'm saying you can either lift it as one piece or you can do it in two separate halves. Okay. So... Such a bugger. Necessary. So they all snap into place. Too much of the ribbon cable for the screen out. Can I push it back in? I had to pull some out so I had extra leverage because my thumbs are so big, my fingers are so big, and these things are so small and dainty. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that this long speaker cord gave me a problem last go around. This time, guys. Same deal. 
It's easier just to snap them in place and then work with the cords after the fact. <clears throat> and then lastly, for this step, we have these four rubber, I don't know, rods, whatever you'd like to call them, that you can set in here to keep the cords pressed down. More or less of an issue like what I had last time. So if you're just doing this, I mean, I don't know if these were in there last time and I just didn't catch them or I didn't know what they were for. But uh, this time, oh boy howdy, I am prepared. I don't really need, but I'm maybe just going to use it here for this uh, ribbon. Hot ah, dog. I'll fix the B button. Button. Now we can move on to what should be the final step. So, we have the, at least mine is red anyway. I love red, I don't know how they knew that, but uh, they just get me. So you may have noticed when I was cutting the A, B, X, Y D-pad buttons, off that I also trimmed these. These are going to be the holding pieces that keep the front and half, the front half and the back half together. So let's see if I can get this to all sit properly. And you should have some clicks. But it might be easier just to put the um, holding pieces in place first and then deal with sealing the rest of the body. So what you have here is an alignment where these go straight on and then you just rotate them. Hopefully you rotate, there we go. A full 90 degrees. I may have to do the other side first before I can get that to go 90 degrees. Aha. Uh -huh. So same deal on this side. Put it straight all the way down and twist it to where it's all staying closed. Yes, and now what we should have is a good result. <laughs> the two apart, I'm not entirely certain. There's no visual representation of any difference. This is Gen 1, obviously, and this is the one that I just put together. No, but what I could do is they come with these stickers. And so maybe it's worth stylizing one of them with one of these stickers. I'll take this fella and put it on there. My Gen 2 clockwork, which looks like it might have started up quicker. Uh, the link to this review will be in the description. And really, thank you guys for watching so much.